I just found this article on Twitter, or otherwise nowadays called X, and this is how the CCP fundamentally transformed China. Now, do you agree with some of these or do you disagree? Now, I hope this video does not just only go to the United States and Canada and the Philippines, but also to some Chinese-speaking countries um, like China or even Taipei, Hong Kong, etc. But you know what I'm trying to say. So have a listen to this. You can read at the same time. They use class as identity to divide people people. They got rid of religion. They undermined did family. They banned guns. They rewrote history. They banned books they don't like. They weaponized children. They toppled down statues. They canceled Chinese civilization. They banned free thinking and controlled speech. They demand absolute loyalty to the party. Um, some of them I don't agree with that. Uh, let's say the second one, they got rid of religion. They didn't get rid of religion. They just control religion. So you would have the Catholic Church, for example, in China, but it's actually controlled by an, a, the atheist um, CCP, the Communist Party of China, or the, however you want to call it nowadays, which is sort of weird, but that's how it is. They banned guns. I don't know much about that, but I'm just not into guns any way, shape or form. I know some people in some countries would disagree with me, but no guns means, well, possibly peace. They rewrote history. Yep, I agree with that one. So some parts of the Cultural Revolution with Mao have been taken out of history and only replaced by good things. And the same with kind of religion. They've got the Chinese Bible there. They weaponize children. Don't know about that much. They ban books they don't like. Yeah, absolutely. So some books in Hong Kong would actually, before, would be illegal in China, especially if it's about the um, negative sides of the CCP. But I think even in Hong Kong, um, you can't even get these books anymore. And if you bring them into the country, you can have problems related to this. They cancel Chinese civilization. They keep it alive in the way that of the dynasties like the Ming, Qing, the Tang dynasties there, but only the positive things and nothing negative. It's there, but it's sort of more of modern history of how wonderful the CCP is. They demand absolute loyalty to the party. Yep, I agree with that one in that way. They banned free thinking and controlled speech. Yes and no, um, but that one's a bit too complicated for me to waffle on about. But what do you think? Do you agree with any of these? Do you disagree with any of them? Do you think any of these should be put into your country's politics or government system? Or do you think this is just how the CCP is fundamentally? Would you agree with it? Would you disagree with it? What's your research? Do you, well, really care about it at all? What do you think of the trade war between China and America? And even there are some people who would say, sorry, I'm just looking at the time, um, that we, China should not be thankful to America. Well, China should be thankful to the Western world because in 1979, China did open the doors and gave China free trade. In other words, no tax there. And to, it's like a kick in the right direction. If you want to be capitalist, this is what you need to do. We are willing to help because we want trade in the future. And then when the America or Europe or whatever country came about, they said, OK, now you're the second largest economy in the world. Some people would say the first, but now you pay tax the same as the rest of us. No, 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 the Chinese people would say, but hold on. What happened in 1979? People seem to, in China, government seems to forget how the West really did help um, China out of a dark era of the Cultural Revolution. And now they forget it and now they start to deny it. Well, CCP, thank you very much for all your wisdom and your wise. 
I would really like to use some bad words, but it would be something, a four letter word, uh, followed by the word off to the CCP. How they just abuse, take advantage of, then deny. So when I see things in the South China Sea, or let's call it the proper name, the West Philippine Sea, yeah, I am definitely supporting the Philippines because you can see China's aggressive nature to the rest of the world, aggressive to a smaller country. But the Philippines has the power of the United States behind them, hopefully. Have a happy day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye for now.